been out my TP now, it's been good down here. Uh, and I'd like to thank a few of them, uh, well all, all of them that should subscribe to this channel, this uh, wild, Frogman Wild, I think there's about 32. I don't go on uh, Facebook or Twitter or any other social media site, whatever you, you call you call them these days. But I just, I'm slowly taking it down. It's going to be one of the last camps down here. I think the last camp, I've already sorted I'm going to take it down. It's coming down in sections. I'm coming down with the grandkids uh, for the last camp here in the next couple of weeks. Uh, I've got some good photos of my buzzard here from field. Pretty good. From from a distance, yeah. Uh, I am going to uh, put a few deadlines down. I did make a few up the other night when, uh, when I was making a few rabbit nets for a friend. And uh, well, this is my setup. This is going to be my, uh, my setup for for the next couple of couple of weeks. Slowly moving out, taking taking a lot of rubbish away. And uh, it's been good down here. Anyway, th th this is what I've done. This, this this is the third to last or second to last camp. I've uh, I've bought some bod food down. I like my bods. I've even purchased some. Uh, live not so healthy mealworms for for birds it's gonna be me like goodbye present <laughs> for me fat balls bit of, bit of cider there why ain't country uh my twenty my twenty first century bag binoculars uh, I'll keep this camera in here there's uh, a few memory cards, uh, extra batteries that I've purchased over the last couple of weeks, and my me, uh, me camera that my daughter and son uh, chipped in and got me. I did uh, this buzzard with photos, I'm just taking photos on this camera. I'll just take photos. I've uh, splashed out, bought myself a, <laughs> a brand new tarp. It's. I don't know, 1.8 by 2.4 metre. Ideal woodland tarp. I'll get it to go. I, I love that me, my little, for well, my big blue thing that I've double over that I've been uh, been had years. Anyway, this is what I've done to TP. It's, uh, I'm going to cut it down in sections. This, this, I've opened it up. The sun comes from that direction up there, over there, and sets. On the, about there on that line at this present moment in time it's setting now it's going down now I'm not gonna have much daylight left and my bag the, these are deadlines I made these up the other day I'll show you uh, I'll, I'll, I'll come to them in a bit I mean I'm in this river down here this buzzard is very interested in the river I know that there is a few trout there's always been a one or two trout in there with all this flooding there is a bit of a country all not uh, far from there. Got a few fishing ponds and that. I have been asked to leave this place, not by any person, but by these little things here. Look at this. Look at this coming through. This is wild garlic coming through here. Look, look here. So, you know, in my eyes, this is this is what it's all about. It's coming through under. Oh, I'm leaving. You know, leaving here. This is good. It's encroaching. I've uh, took all this down, all this this screen down. It has been a very warm winter camp. I'll not be back here next year. retreated to this area here which is going to be dry it's been best all along this area here is well I mean we're supposed to be in the midst of a Siberian beast from the east very mild I think it's 6th, 7th or 8th of February or Saturday anyway I seem to lose track of time uh, <coughs> slowly moving up retreated here look I've re uh, <coughs> stuttered here 
I've reclaimed some uh, netting, rope, I ate to waste out, I brought some food down, um, some mushrooms, a bit of salted butter there, love it, potatoes, mushrooms, a couple of onions, food that's already been left down here, some beans, I've got some choice cuts uh, from the uh, throwaway bin at the local massive uh, supermarket, choice cuts, uh, lamb, 85p, and we've got some British boneless pork shoulder steaks at 1.99. I mean that's good. Well, I think so anyway. So the buzzard is coming down to this valley, and he is perching. You're not going to get it on this, but he is perching the other side at Valley really, well three quarters of the way down in a tree, I am going down there in a bit, I'm going to set up a, one or two deadlines up, I'm not much of a fisherman really, uh, I don't own a rod, but I do know that sometimes a year, trout love bread and worms. I have had quite a bit of success to, uh, we try <laughs> over the years, my brother is better than me, I have got to put that, he is like a grizzly bear, he can get them like. I'm going to get to go. Buzz is very interested down there. Like I can say, yeah. Uh... Right. I'll uh, go and put a few deadlines up. Well, there's nothing really sporting about deadlining trout. Uh, this is your, your, your lines anyway, look. I've got bread, worm and mealworm. Uh, I've, I've done them here. You don't really want to be doing them on bank. I will say, this is for demonstration purposes only. This, uh, on <laughs> on certain rivers, you know, this can get you like pretty in, in you know, in some serious kind of trouble, but you know, this is a wild camp kind of uh, 30 subscriber uh, YouTube channel, so you know, it's, it's for demonstration purposes. So uh, we'll make his way, we'll make his way into the valley. Well, there is a better stretch of river to do this, but uh, I have seen one or two trout in here. It is better over the other side of that line in front on um, other side of the valley but it's a bit exposed and uh, well I'm going to drop it just down here look at that idiot Fred Fred oi once you've got your spot there, it's a place to take water that's it Deadline and I'm going to tie it off here onto this uh, barbed wire. <laughs> Natural spring there, drink that water coming through into here. Right. I'm going to leave this for a, I'm going to leave this for a bit, get back to camp, make a fire, and then uh, get a drink on. Well there's my pork, potatoes, mushrooms and onions, it's going in a slow, make a slow oven there, and uh, cook that. Uh, my lamb, tell you the truth, uh, you know for less than a quid it's take the best piece of lamb, but I'm just going to slowly, slowly roast that of it. Of it. Oh, the grill. Oh, the grill there. Oh, get us in a drink now. This is how it's looking. Got a few 
few fat balls up. I've got a mix of uh, Millwall and peanuts and peanuts in shell. Everything seems to go anyway down here. They, they are eating everything. Uh, same down, same in there. I have left uh, one or two deadlines up, so just as it's getting darker, I'm going to go down and check them. Or at least get them up anyway. And there we are. Well, the sun's about gone down now. You don't really get much filming done when it's dark, apart from torch. You can hardly see out, really. That's a uh, a trusty around. I've got me, I've got me lamb belly on this grill here. I've got my pork and that on here, slowly cooking there, I'll move it away from there, I want to slow cook that, and uh, which we not drink, as we, uh, my sleeping bag. Peanuts, mealworm mix. It is dropping a bit now, but that is February. We're expecting major gales. This year now, <coughs> been through Oricon, back end of Oricon, Gonzales, uh, Boxing Day snow. The trees are coming, coming down, not here. They didn't come down, but a few twigs at it here. We wait at snow. Torrential rain, I've stopped here in torrential rain, I don't know if any of you have watched my other channel when I first started this But torrential rain, had a few pheasants down here uh, Pigeons I'm bothered with squirrels, no squirrels <coughs> There'd be times <coughs> I brought pellet rifle down And I suppose I could shoot But it's an old, uh, it's my favourite gun it's an old Webley Amiga, very small gun, had it years. I've had your gas guns, I've had all them other guns. I don't come out shooting all that often. Well, it's very rare I do come out shooting. Saturday, February 7th or 8th, 2015. You know, I don't even I don't even come out in boots. I spend a lot of time in week in boots. I just come out in pair road trainers. You know, what I mean, I like to feel my feet. You know, what I mean, hanging around here. Do, do they get wet? Yeah, sometimes they do. If I think they're really going to get wet, I'll wear a pair of boots. But anyway, there's my chat. We're going back to deadlining. I would never ever leave them out all night. So uh, come and collect them. That's where my TP is over there. I don't know whether you're going to get fire in here. Lamb belly slowly, slowly grilling. It smells quite nice actually. And uh, my pork, potatoes, mushrooms, and that is in there. I'm going to check on that in a bit. Got uh, my fire bucket here. I was when I'm cooking like this now. I just look at it this way. If it fits in that bucket, it fits in fire pretty well. Uh, for breakfast, I have bought us. Uh, well, me and Frederick. How are you doing, Frederick? 
As, uh, we're gonna have a we're gonna have trout for breakfast straight from your uh, local supermarket. Surprised with what you get. Yeah. Yeah. For a couple of quid, it's all good. Well, I will overcook pork, but this isn't overcooked. But this is this is going to do for me. This is this is good. Uh, easy meat to contaminate. There's my potatoes, mushrooms, onions. Oh, it's looking good. So I'm going to get that on a plate with me uh, belly ribber lamb. Uh, yeah, I better be feet. Here we are, lamb belly. Pork, potatoes, mushrooms, onion. Beautiful. I haven't even done no beans. Got two tins of beans. I'm not even going to spoil it with beans. Beautiful. Well, my lamb is just falling off these ribs. Look at that, eh? My pork, yeah, they're falling apart. My potatoes, look at that, eh? No wonder I do all cooking in my house. But look at this pork. What do you reckon, Fred? Yeah? You yeah, greedy dog. Well, I've changed fire from narrow vault foods done. I'm, uh, I've made it into a long burner, put a lot of them big uh, pieces of silver birch on. I mean that will burn for a good few hours, that will burn good. Well, that's about to uh, me done for tonight. I'm uh, well, I'm going to get some shut eye. Just listen, just listen to quietness and owls. Oh, Frederick's already down. I'm going to have some pudding, but uh, I'm quite, I'm quite full. I don't know how this filming is going to come out. He's just going to, have to be here. <laughs> yeah. Good night.
Morning. Well, I want to overlay the thing. If you want this woodpecker hammer in a tree. Yeah. Good night's sleep. Was it cold? Oh, There's a good frosty field. Where you going, Fred? Oh. The sun's just coming up. Fire's still smoking a bit. It's still in though. <coughs> I'm gonna get an hour first. Get up and make some breakfast in a bit, get a brew on. Beautiful, eh? Well, the sun's right up now, this winter sun. Lovely morning. I suppose I'll have to get up now, eh? And uh, make me send a fire. Well, I'll blow this into place. Get some breakfast done. Watching old dog's bowl. Look at that. Beautiful, eh? I'm going to silver paper it. Got a nice bit of salted butter in there. And then it's going on that grill. Should be bruise ready. Excellent. These one or two birds coming. Taking me fat balls. I ain't, I ain't like filmed or photographed any of them really. But uh, there we are. Some butter fried trout. Butter poached trout and some fried mushrooms, onions, potatoes. I'll get that. And there's breakfast. Nice bit of trout there. And potatoes, onions, mushrooms. Mm. Oh, bread well there's not much left I 
not a bad side fish really. What for pudding? It's cappuccino, mini Battenbergs, lashed with cold rice pudding. Look at that. A lot for me and a bit for the dog. This is how I'm leaving it till next week anyway. Yeah, I will be down next week. I'll not be bringing Frederick. I'm just leaving it open like this. I'm not even leaving my sign up this time. Leaving all that on this side. There's my mattress, my sleeping bag, well, a spare sleeping bag. There's my visqueen rubbish that I've got to come down. I'm going to take it all away in one next week. Uh, some cooking stuff there. Drink cappuccino, some hot chocolate there, some beans, some uh, cooking stuff in there. I do have to, this is why I'm not bringing Frederick, I do have to tether him up at this time of day. He's a bit of a friendly dog and when he sees folks walking up on line, he, uh, he sort of creeps his way up there and gives you away. So, Unfortunately for Frederick, he's on a rope. I don't know where this Siberian weather we're coming from. I know this is my three mile track equipment. In there I've got all my, uh, all my, my proper sleeping bag. Uh, I've got extra hammock, I've got a tarp in there, I never needed it. I never even did that review on that £10 tarp, 950 tarp. Well, I'll let it surprise me, I'll take it out when I need it. And my last night's bag of rubbish. I'm leaving it firing against everybody's... Uh, don't bother, look at it this way. If somebody comes down here and fire's still going, that's going to slow burn, it's not going to set place on fire people think that you're not very far away especially with, with food about so uh, I mean I'm not saying there's any thieves down here whatsoever I mean what is this to steal around here but that is a proper open teepee now You miserable looking dog. For this week, I am gonna be uh, I will be coming down next week, finish it off, get a bit more done. I think I'm gonna have about another two camps in here before it's all gone. Oh, yes. That's how it's being left. Come on.
Siberian winter. Well, this is where I love about this place, Middling. You could come out here, and if you're into this camping, wild camping thing, these are all these little woodlands, little individual woodlands that you can like spend one and two, well, w w one night, two nights. Yeah, just, just looking at area. There, I'll be uh, Basically, the highest point in Nottinghamshire. I do spend one or two nights there. It's just uh, a sleeping bag. There's no fires. It's just watching, watching sky pass over, really. But uh, and then cross over the valley, and you come to you go to Ardwickall. Always good for a one and two night camp. Some good old uh, mature trees there. Plenty, plenty of wood to burn. And brilliant, brilliant for a one and two nighter. Again, just we're with, with, with hammock and tarp. Got over there what we used to call the redwood. Siberian forecaster's dream. Beautiful. Well, this road now has been put down about 10, 15 years, I think right through countryside here, but just slowly taking its toll on poor old, on poor old Foxy here. It is a mad road, they do come down dead, dead fast. But anyway, it looks a good, it looks a good size uh, dog fox actually, this does. Get out, Fred. It does, it looks a good size dog fox. Shame really. Well, it's a it's a 21st century. Well, that's it for this week. Couple of streets from home. Well, in the distance here is where we've been. It's about three mile. Right. That's it. The village.